Hello Africa, welcome to another exciting episode of the CGC show. Remember the show is probably brought to you by the Association of African Universities. And we are coming to you live from the headquarters of AAU Accra, Ghana. And I am your host, Ajo Omi. Do follow us on our social media platforms at AU underscore TV, on, face, on Twitter, Association of African Universities, on Facebook and YouTube, and at AU TV Official on Instagram. Many thanks to GTP Fabric for my beautiful fabric and of course Majestic Outfits for my beautiful dress and AJ Makeover GH for my beautiful makeup. I have my guest here with me and today we will be discussing Cabin Crew as a career path. I will introduce her after the break. Stay tuned. Is Myla Bashira. She is a cabin crew and an entrepreneur, and of course, she will definitely tell us how she does the two at a time. Is Myla, welcome on the show. Hi, Adra. How are you? I'm Good fine, to see thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I was actually really, really grateful that I'm actually really grateful that you were able to make time to come on the show since you are almost always traveling all around the world. Um, I'm happy to be here as well. Thank you. Sure. So, tell us, what do you do as a cabin crew? Well, a cabin crew is uh, somebody that works in an aircraft, basically. Okay. But basically, in the cabin of the aircraft, we try to. Make oh, sure so it's not just it's not the whole aircraft; it's just no. the cabin. Yeah, that's why it's cabin crew. Oh, okay. So you're in the cabin because we have the the flight deck crew. Okay. So they are the pilots, the, what you call it, the flight pilot. But oh, okay. yeah, since you're in the cabin, you're the cabin crew. So we have the flight deck crew. So I'm in the cabin crew, meaning I'm working with the customers. Oh, okay. Directly. So. We seek for customers' comfort to make sure that um, a customer is safe, um, everything is um, meets the standards and, uh, and procedures of the company and of course the aviation as well. Okay. But basically, we are there to actually make sure that we move one customer from point A to B and uh, meeting the expectations and you know all that they, they, they've been advertised on TV yeah. about what the aircraft is about, the airline is about. So we are there to actually drive the message to the customers. Great, yeah. great. I'm interested in knowing how you started as a cabin crew. How did you start? Did you go to in the school, some of the courses you took and all of that? I actually don't have any aviation background to be honest. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, I, I work in, with an international airline basically okay. and they don't And how did you end up there if I may ask? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, uh, there was this advertisement and uh, I actually wanted to accompany a friend okay. and I ended up being there and I went to an interview, series of examination actually, a series of interviews as well for like three days and from there they do their selection, they take back to their country to re, uh, have an online interview as well and um, lucky enough I, I was picked. Wow. And uh, I became the first Ghanaian to join the airline, actually. Ooh. Yeah, so. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's how I mean. I came across being a cabin crew. It's, it's not a dream job for me, but trust me to do, I love it. It's, I it's, definitely it's, it's love it because I see <laughs> what you do <laughs> and all of that. But it still, it still baffles me. You didn't take any course, nothing. No. So how no. were you able to qualify? The, 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 uh, that my company, like I said, since an international, they don't see they they will train you actually. Okay. They don't need you to be to to have the aviation background okay. because they will train you from the scratch to whatever level that they want you to be. That's and um, yeah, I mean it's not a requirement. You just, you just have to be very eloquent. You have to have a basic education at least. Okay. And uh, yeah, speak English, have a very good communication skills. They look, they look for that because the job is not really about what you're taught in school. It's all about personality, you mm. understand? So they look out for that. And you go through a very, very intense training. What happens is um, whatever that you were supposed to learn in aviation school okay. for like two, I don't know how long it takes, six months, one year. We do it in three, three months. Wow. So the books are huge. It, um, I got there and I was shot because I thought, you know, you just got Three the job. Months, it, mm -hmm. Intensive, you just be on ground, studying exams, studying exams for three months. Wow. 
and you don't want to fail because <laughs> uh, the priority for them is actually safety and security. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think it's about service. No, mm. the 99% of the job is actually safety and wow. security. So they are very serious. And after the training, when you do don't pass, trust me, it's, it's a story I can explain. You, some actually have to leave. I, we were just 22 in the class, but I graduated with um, 12 because some left That's because of the intensity of the exams. To be honest, it's tough. Like you're studying for four years course or three years course in three months, mm. like big books. So and yeah. What were you doing before then, before you ah. decided to go? Ah, uh, well, I mean, for me, I, um, I was here in Ghana. I was, uh, I worked with Taloy. I had my degree. So it was just, let me just go and try and see, you know, let me just go and try and see. They came, okay, we were looking for girls. I'm like, let me just, you know. Wow. <laughs> so it wasn't like I was, you know, Something I was waiting for really it. Yeah, I was actually working and yeah, I had a good career, but you know, I, I thought see. maybe a change is good. So I, I just see. took a portion. When I had the portion, like, let me just, you know, and also the traveling to actually do my master's at that time. Oh, okay. So the same time I had to decide which one to go with if mm. I had to go to the cabin. I'm like, okay. Uh, let me just let me just do this. Let me get the money first. Wow. And then <laughs> <laughs> the school is always there. But yeah, I'm still working on my master's currently. Mm, okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. You mentioned that um, you basically ha would ha need um, a basic education. You need to be eloquent. I'm sure that is why a lot of people think that cabin crew don't. They only need you only need a basic education, and that's all. Well. Um, I wouldn't say it was just, just basic education. Mm. Like I said, they need you. They need certain. They're looking for personalities. Okay. You understand? And we don't go to school to learn personality. You don't have degree yeah. and say I had degree in personality Definitely. because Definitely. you could have a degree and you still don't know what you're doing. Mm. So for them, even if your degree, you have masters, they will train you. But we're looking for the personality. How do you deliver a product? How mm -hmm. do you sell something to one? customers are like this is exceptional service it's the same food or it's the same service i would give you somebody yeah. would give something like no i don't like this but it's the same food really but yeah. what, what makes it a difference yeah. so you realize it's not about degree, degree. Or whatever or t having a basic but guess what if it's just basic then when you when you get that job you don't need to go through any training because you know they're yeah. just there. but you have to learn it's not but we have people that have masters that are doing a two degrees i have my degree you know, it doesn't change anything. People yeah. do online courses. People, I mean, a lot of us actually, 99% mm -hmm. of us actually have degrees. And some are doing their master's, second degree. Some are doing a lot. Some are even, and the, the good thing is, a lot of people also want to uh, transition from being a carbon crew to fly decks. Oh, okay. So, what's the difference actually? Well, f carbon crew, you're a carbon crew, yeah. you're the carbon, like I said, you deal with the customers directly. Okay. But the fly deck, you're a pilot. Oh, okay. So, in aviation, um, they calculate certain hours of flying, and mm. it also, you know, it would um, it would help you to get a job. So, yeah, so people okay. do the flying whilst you're cabin crew, mm -hmm. and whilst you're flying, they're studying for. We have a lot of crew learning piloting now, mm -hmm. and the next minute after two, three, four years, she's a pilot. And yeah. some people use that channel to get oh, there. Okay. You understand? So okay. if it's just about just basic education, I'm sure they would actually go to. They will not. They'll find somebody around and just you know. Mm. So yeah, we do have people that have. I mean, I'm here, I have degree, so. Yeah. yeah. Share your experiences with me. Uh, How has it been for you? It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different Obviously. world, to be honest. And maybe I'll say I was lucky enough to work with an international airline, currently the best airline in the world. Okay. And I mean, meeting different people from different countries. You work with different people with different cultural background. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's incredible. <laughs> and you know, I always tell my friends that you have somebody who is from, let's say, London or Australia, a customer from Australia, and you have to say another customer from a place like Kathmandu, you know, you should be able to treat these people equally. They have different perspective, yeah. culture differently. But you as a cabin crew, you need to be neutral. You need to be able to make that person comfortable. You need to make this person comfortable. But all these people are from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have people that don't speak English, people yeah. that speak some language you don't understand. <laughs> But then they, 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 they leave the aircraft and kiss your forehead. <laughs> what did you do? What did you say? So yeah. it's, it's beautiful. It, it attached, personally, it has taught me how human relationship works. Mm -hmm. It has taught me so many things. You need to be patient extremely. You need to be tolerant. You need to be 
you know, always think outside the box. Mm -hmm. you, you need to have those qualities. If not, you, you can't and be ready to, to, to learn as well. Because every, every three months, I do assessment and write exam. Tell me which job does assessment and exam for three months. Mm -hmm. every, every three months, I have to write an exam. So I have to do assessment. You agreed. Every, strictly. For, um, you do it for as, the organization yeah, or do, for yeah. yourself? No. <laughs> Now you know it's not about just no, going inside. Yeah. So you need to no, because we always see the fun side of cabin crew. Like yeah, you're in a flight, you're traveling all over the yeah, world. Yeah, the uniform that. at the, the airport. The uniform and all <laughs> that's why we I didn't know that you write. We write exams every three months. Wow. Assessment. When I say exams, assessment. Mm -hmm. You write it every three months. Uh, you get questioned every single flight. We do something like a mentor, like we call it in school, mental, you know, yeah. two, one, two. Yeah. We do that every single flight. So, for instance, if I have two flights a day, like I, I come from London from just, I, I London to where I work, mm -hmm. like 6 a.m., and then I have another flight at 6 p.m. That's 6 a.m. I do mentor. They ask you, you know, what do you do when a customer mm -hmm. collapse? We, we have to know all this. Oh, well, I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. I'm a safety officer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, a, uh, what do you, I'm a customer service uh, personnel. I'm everything. Because you know we are confined mm -hmm. in that little yeah. space. So you need to be everything. So every single, every flight different, it's just like a car. Mm -hmm. Maybe some cars have uh, one door, some cars have two doors. Yeah. So every car has its operation. Yeah. So every morning or each flight, each flight, regardless if you are doing 10 flights, if it's possible to do 10 flights a day, you have a mental exam every single flight. So you always have to study. I always had to know the aircraft type. Mm -hmm. I have to know certain basic. Yeah. When the emergency, what you do, what you say, what you, do, you have to, because you will be asked like that, like a teacher standing in front of you to mm. ask you about, you know, what is this? <laughs> Tell me when somebody does it, what do yeah. you do? No, if you can't, you ask again, they ask you again, and if you can't, this is a problem. You have to go back to school, uh, class again and study. Oh. So it's not only about we looking, what we're looking at the airport and going up and down. You need to be ready for yeah, for, for, for study as yeah. well and be, 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 be vigilant as well. You mentioned safety. I know there are um, flight nurses too. Do you guys work together? We don't have flight nurses. That's what I'm telling you. Well, like, when I get trained, I train as a nurse. Okay. I get first aid training. So it's intense. This is serious. I'm, I'm, we're not talking about, okay, you know, you, you're just going there and make sure that this yeah. person <laughs> be more comfortable. That's why I mentioned earlier. It's about safety, security. I do that. I, I see. mean, we do that. I'm in this. If somebody should collapse right now, I need to be able to check your pulse, your breathing rate. Wow. I need to be able to do CPR for you. Wow. I need to know what somebody stroke, what you should do. It's like that, but what we do is we do have, um, we do have a system where we can connect to. We have doctors, standby doctors somewhere okay. in the world that we don't know. Oh, okay. They are standby. So, but before you contact a doctor, mm -hmm. you need to be able to provide yeah. the first aid because it will take all that needs yeah. to be done. And when it's important, you divert. We have diversion. So, for instance, if I'm flying from, I had a flight from Houston to where I work and. We had an emergency case. So the doctor will tell you, look, this is serious. We have mm. to divert. We diverted it to Canada. So we have certain oh, situations okay. that when it's very serious, we have to divert, which is a whole new story. But here, we, are, we don't have specific uh, roles. So let's say we need a nurse on board. Everyone is a nurse because you have to study to know. Yeah. Everyone is a safety officer there. You have to know. And there's fire, I know what to do. I'm, I'm everything. I'm the fire personnel. I'm everything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you need to, st you need to be ready to study if you want to have uh, to want to come to this career. But I mean, it's amazing, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Honestly, I am so, I'm so shocked. I don't know the, the kind of things, the kind of thoughts that uh, we had, especially about cabin crew, and you have come to tell us what really it entails I am actually learning. And I know you at home too, you are enjoying the show and you are learning a few things. Stay with us, we'll be back after the break.
If you just tuned in, you are watching the CGC show on AAU TV, and we have been discussing cabin crew as a career path. If you've always thought that it's an easy job to do, well, you would have to find it interesting, or you would have to need you would need the passion for it before you can do it, because obviously it is not so easy like other courses or other professions. And um, Ismaila um, has been has helped us to do the discussion here and. She's delved into the issue. But before, um, okay, let me ask you, what is the difference between air hostess and um, a cabin crew? Um, honestly, I think it's the same thing. But um, I think initially when aircraft or airlines started operating, girls were not trained to do intense training like we do. Oh, okay. like, like I mentioned before, you were a first aider, you were a security personnel, a safety personnel, you are all that. Mm. It was just basically service-wise. It was service-oriented. Oh, okay. But now um, there's a lot of things happening. But cabin crew, we have, you, you have to be everything. You mm. have to be the nurse. You have to be everything. Before even actually, they actually picked only nurses. If, if, I, if I'm right, what I know a little mm. bit about history, about flying mm. and flying attendant was nurses for your care, for your comfort. But they realize I know. You know, it's not about just, it's not about um, being a nurse or mm -hmm. just going to do the service or comfort. But safety-wise, emergency-wise, all these things come mm -hmm. in place. So hence maybe the name change from cabin crew because anything that entails in the cabin, cabin. is your responsibility. Oh, okay. You understand? If a customer hears a noise that is not usual, mm -hmm. they would call the cabin crew, uh, maybe a hell of this. And then she goes like, what is that? I don't know about. No, you have to know about it. Oh, okay. So it's not only just service related. But then okay. I think because it was just service related, we have the waiter. You're a waiter, you're just giving mm. out food. But no, it's not just that. So I think it's basically the same thing, but there's more to it now. Mm -hmm. Hence why we have uh, maybe the cabin crew or flight attendant. So yeah. basically, it's like they identified a need to get people or somebody mm. who would have a fair idea of how to handle people in the cabin. Yeah. When you say waiter, mm -hmm. then it limits the idea of you being yeah. a waiter, you're just doing the service. But you're not only doing the service, you're doing other, you're taking other responsibilities as well as, you okay. know, being a doctor or whatever, mm -hmm. the nurse as well. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, okay, briefly tell me some of the challenges you have faced. Like you said, you sometimes meet people from Australia, all and maybe Moscow, whatever, all in the plane, and okay. you need to talk to all of them. What has been some of the challenges for you? Time is challenge. We don't have that sex to, you know, we don't have specific times. So uh, we fly every time, mm -hmm. 2 a.m., 1 a.m., every time. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to countries like, let's say, Canada, mm -hmm. and I left here in the morning, I get there, it's two days, I mean, it's, the time is our problem, it's, mm -hmm. it's a big challenge. Um, if you're somebody that you're a morning person, you're an evening person, you can't, you can't do, there's no morning person, the evening person, you have person. to be every person. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so time is a challenge mm -hmm. and um, it's tough when it comes to time, I mean, and when it's, when it's, when this is a challenge, it means that it takes a lot from you, mm -hmm. your body don't, may might not get the proper rest because mm. of time different times as well uh so that's one one big mm. challenge if if you're not if you're strictly i only sleep in the evening then this is not for you i'm sorry because mm. you have to take somebody from one to, to one to two so time is one of the challenge and um other challenges would be um i think language should be a challenge uh, or you are taught other, you are taught other languages too. Well, it's it's a challenge, but it's not really something we can actually work with. Oh, okay. Because, like I said, we ha our airline is not just I'm Ghanaian. So if I fly with a Ghanaian, I okay. can speak to you. We have multinationals, so oh, okay. you have somebody. Usually, you can get one mm -hmm. or two person who can speak French, somebody who can speak Hindi. So it's not really oh, okay. Yeah. And. Um, even if it's so, we are sometimes try our best. If mm -hmm. it's food, they want to eat. You just have to open for them to see it's chicken. I'm yeah. sure they know what you know. So, yeah. and uh, if it's even safety video, we have the video. Even if they can understand, they see what is then being being done, so they can do the same. So yeah, it's a challenge. But um, like I said, you always have mm. to think outside the box. You have to have that. You know, you have to think ahead. 
if you face this kind of uh, mm. customers, what to do. So yeah, language, yeah, but it's not really a problem mm. for us. But the timing is, it's, it's a major thing. Secondly, you miss everything this <laughs> life has, honestly, because um, I don't remember last time I spent any special moment with my family. I'm, mm. I'm leaving two days and it's holiday season. <laughs> Mm. And I'm working in, God knows, like mm. after three days. And even on Christmas, I'm flying another custom, uh, customers from point mm. A to B. I believe I also deserve a holiday. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you don't get to choose. Mm. You don't, you miss my sister's wedding. You miss special occasions. It's, it's sometimes sad. You know, you, you're, you're out of this world. You don't know what is happening Definitely. on the ground. Yeah, so things like this also. Some people can't, you know, people... There are people that can't live all by themselves. Mm -hmm. No family, you don't see anyone. It's just you on the phone every time with somebody in a lonely world. You go to some country. Most of the country, of course, you don't know everyone. You don't know someone in every country. You go to a lot of countries, like 158 countries. And mm -hmm. you go to places that they also don't speak. You're, you don't have your food. food. <laughs> <They don't laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you, you, you would actually miss mm. a lot. But um, you should be ready for that. There's yeah. nothing like... I have to go home because it's the, you know, you, you get your, 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 your chances sometimes when you do that, they're flexible. I have this time, yeah. I need to do this, be connection. But if you're giving everybody that opportunity, who is working? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So right now I have to go for December 25th, I have a flight. Somebody has to go on a holiday. Yeah. So you, you see how it works, <laughs> I have to come early. Uh -huh. So that's yeah, so, so These are some of the challenges. If you're like a mommy's girl, I'm mm. sorry, there's no mommy to pump her. You need to be stronger <laughs> and, and push through. I see. Um, yeah, so these are the few challenges I'll mention. But aside that, and your heating habit could change because mm. you eat everything and you, say you, are, you come at, I mean, 8, 3 a.m. and you're leaving at mm. 11 11 a.m. in the in the wow. morning like we have you can mm. actually have a back-to-back -back flight you can fly on not stop for you know one week without yeah wow. we do have back and back. so I, I can have a flight i can land at 3 a.m 11 i'm moving again you know so and you <laughs> now you're, you're, you're contemplating should i eat first or should i sleep first <laughs> <laughs> you're hungry yes you need, you the, need the rest, rest. yeah the and then the time zones are different mm. it's become so that the time is it's really it plays a measure role because you end up not eating right and uh, you don't sleep well because mm. where you from it was evening you come here it's god knows midday like how do i sleep now yeah so it's these are the settings that, that's that just a few challenges actually but yeah and maybe culture differences you know of course yeah somebody has we have different but like i said as a cab you learn all these things so you don't find offense in, uh, in anybody trying to shoot. There are certain signs you don't use in other language because yeah. it means something else. There yeah. certain things. So, but you get to learn as well. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But aside, okay, still on the challenges, mm. what has been your challenging moment? Have you ever encountered an, a customer or somebody on a flight and then you guys had things? Uh, think? Again, it's a very confined uh, space. Yeah. Everything that happens on ground happens there. Oh, okay. Everything. When I say everything, everything. Mm -hmm. Talk of death on board. Talk of birth on board. We have people delivery. A cabin crew would deliver a baby for you. Wow. We are taught how to to, <laughs> to do that. Whatever stroke, anything, uh, anything, fight. Somebody could fight over food. This no. is. <laughs> but I want you. I, you, I wanted to share my your challenge. Ah, uh, I mean, my experience so far would be, we had somebody who was shot in in the state, so we had to carry the person from, and they had a surgery, but the mm -hmm. surgery was not, um, was not. Successful. I mean, it it was done, but mm -hmm. they need. They had to let him rest. At a, I mean, to okay. rest a bit, which they didn't. So we have to fly him to where we we're going, and it was a long distance. So he started. Bleeding, mm. you know, it's sad to see somebody mm. in that pain. So yeah, we did all that we could, and they said, no, if we don't divert, mm -hmm. like I mentioned before, he could die. You know, so when you see somebody oh, just, so I mean, pain. struggling yeah. in pain, and you know, uh, yeah, so we had to divert, and, and of I course, see a lot of things. We did instead of doing 18 hours, I flew for almost 29 hours on an air. Wow. Like we did a whole day again, <laughs> yeah. So and there were people in the flight. Yes. We had to go back. Yeah, we had to go. We went to another country. Okay. We stayed in the aircraft in the airport for almost seven hours on ground. Uh, so and can we I there. say that yeah. you guys didn't think 
about the people in the plane? No, no, no. We do our service. We're just trying to give them water, food. You know, we just give. Okay. Because we're all struggling. You can see what is happening. <laughs> and again, guess what? I'm struggling, but yeah. I have to hold on to my pain. Yeah. And deal with yours. We don't have anything like I'm going to personal stuff. So you mm. know what? I'm also going to. So you hold on to no. When you wear that uniform. Your problems are here. You could be in tears. We all, we all human. We also mm. go through challenges. Yeah. But definitely. guess what? our duty that when you wear the uniform is to make that that person smiles. So customers were frustrated, mm. frustrated, literally eat you up. But it's your duty to make sure that frustration has been turned into a smile. And it's it's like again mm -hmm. back to personality. What's your personality? How do you change that? But I'm yeah. sure there are some benefits that come along with it. Oh, of so, course. Yeah. Ah. So tell me, tell me some of them. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my, my mind and uh, join you guys. What I'll just keep that very benefits? brief and say, let's yeah. say, getting paid to see the world. <laughs> How about that? Uh -huh. Getting paid to see the world. Briefly. No, briefly. You can just get paid and, oh, okay, this is fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. But, of course... I mean, the sacrifices are yeah. worth whatever we are being paid. But I mean, I'm sure there are other jobs that take more than us. But yeah, it's 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 good. If you have the opportunity, please. Yeah. Maybe I'll I'll think about this. Yeah, you should come. We would want to have. We want, want more Ghanaians. <laughs> we want more Ghanaians there. I'll take the I'll take the course or the qu the the exam and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you just, you don't need to do anything. Any, any airline you want, you just go and apply online, mm. and that's it. You go to their opening. That's it. Nothing serious, to be honest. Wow. You just have to be ready for questioning, like you're questioning me now. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you to be an entrepreneur too. So, um, tell, tell me. Ah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. I do, uh, I do own certain small businesses yeah. I'm trying to build here in Ghana, which is the Modern Muslim Girl. Yeah. And short is called the MMG. G. And it's a fashion uh, house, so basically just trying to, um, I mean, uh, help the Muslim girl out mm -hmm. there to be fashionable, but yet to be modest as well. It's okay. a modest store, since we don't have a lot of that here. But I try to operate it while I'm away, which is mm -hmm. very hectic, but mm -hmm. uh, social media makes things easy. Yeah. And, um, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's catching up gradually, you can, gradually. you know. Follow us on Instagram, Modern Muslim Girl, and you see more of our works. Nice. So how long has it been around? Uh, it's been like a year plus. Oh, okay. It's still a baby company, but it's catching up very, you know. And I know crazy. you are coming up with a clothing line too. Yeah, it's the same concept, you know, because okay. I realized that uh, for us Muslims, we are limited to certain outfits and... Um, why not uh, try and bring something that is fashionable and yet mm -hmm. modest and yet uh, stylish mm -hmm. and yeah so that's tr what i'm trying to build and ghanian seems and i have uh, uh, christian customers it's amazing yeah i have uh, you should uh, get one as well maybe your next show we have to come and style you modest probably <laughs> i'll be so glad i'll be so glad anyways you're yeah, really trying yeah because talking about the cabin crew thing the whole work that it entails and you add in the entrepreneurship to, to it, I think you are really yeah, doing well. Because Cabin Crew, you can't actually do that forever as a yeah. woman. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I see. Yeah, it has its challenges with health expert also. Oh, okay. But if you want, yeah, why not? But um, We'll leave that for yeah. another day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what would you tell somebody who, who would want to um, be a Cabin Crew and take it as, actually as a career path? It's incredible. Please, we should all come. <laughs> we should all be carving crew. No, I mean, it's incredible because you you learn more than what we are limited here. Yeah. Like if I'm working with a Ghanaian, it's Ghanaian. But how do you know? How 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 do you work with somebody who is from mm, India? Yes. How you know you learn a lot. And um, for me, I said there's no any customer service related or human relation job that I can't do. Mm -hmm. You know. And when I do come back home and I see our customer uh, service or our human, I'm just like, no, you can't, you can't work, mm -hmm. you can't do that. You know, it's so different. But I, will, I maybe years ago it was mm -hmm. very normal for me because I was in Ghana. You, yeah. know, you understand. But now learning or flying, I realize that no, <laughs> you know, I learned a lot and um, patient. You, you become very patient. Thought, uh, what we do everything, <laughs> girl. Somebody with infants, you have to help the mother clean up. 
you mm. do all that. So wow. yeah, I mean, willingly, not not your responsibility, but it, 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 you you you. For me, my patient level is very high now, mm. uh, and then um, tolerance, nothing really surprises mm. me because we've seen a lot, heard a lot, yeah. and you, you you also be a humble person mm -hmm. because we fly with different classes of. Of, of people mm -hmm. so you see how people will live you appreciate life be grateful it's, yeah. it's beautiful and of course you get the benefits so <laughs> why not we should all come <laughs> if you have been following the conversation i i remember patience tolerance and of course personality these are the basic things you need if you want to be a cabin crew thank you so much Ira, for coming on mm -hmm. the show to tell us more about um cabin crew and all that it entails. And I know you at home too, you have been enjoying the show. Don't forget the show is probably brought to you by the Association of African Universities. And you can follow us on our social media platforms at AAU underscore TV on Twitter, Association of African Universities on Facebook and YouTube, and at AAU TV official on Instagram. Many thanks to AJ Makeover GH for my beautiful makeup, and of course GTP Fabric for my beautiful clothes, and Majestic Outfits for my beautiful dress. If you have any questions or any anything that you'd want to know, you can just leave them in the comments box on our social media platforms. And you can also send us a WhatsApp message on plus 233-50123-8468 and we will have them answered to you. Enjoy the rest of our programs. My name is Ajaomi.